Hi everyone, welcome to this month's edition of the Also Inspired collaboration, which is hosted by Alicia, who is Call Me Crafty Al here on YouTube. Now everyone, as always, who is taking part in the collaboration will be linked down in the description box, along with the inspiration piece if you want to click on it and go and have a look at the original piece of um, inspiration, which this month was a mixed media tag. Now before I get into how I made this tag, I want to say thank you to Alicia for allowing me to continue for another six months in this fab collaboration. I love it. I love the inspiration that I get every month. I love the inspiration pieces. It's just fab to be part of. So thank you, Alicia. Um, and yeah, check out everyone, guys, because if I can get so much inspiration, so can you. I think it's amazing that we all do this together. So yeah, if you check out the inspiration piece, you will see it was a mixed media tag. Um, and it had butterflies on it. So what I used to create this tag was some Spectrum Noir pens. Um, I used the TB4, the LV3, the BP1 and the LG3. I also used the Nouveau Mousse, Embellishment Mousse by Tonic in the Lilac Lavender and I used this little um, die, I can't remember, I think this is a crafter's companion, I'm not sure, but I got that a while back. And I also used a wee love definition stamp and a small little butterfly stamp. And all i done was created the tag. Um, I always use the same tag template that I created a long while ago. And I created the tag shape. Then I used Isla, I used my big bite to put my eyelet in and I used some beautiful purple lace ribbon and some three different colours of organza thin ribbon and the first thing I did was apply this is actually on a patterned piece of card and this is how it started out and that is just one of the craft sensations from the range and it's from the vintage charum pack paper pad. So I applied the mousse in the background just to give some texture and to give a bit of shine. Then I die cut out my, actually I done that and then I used a spray. I forgot to say that. What have I done with it? This one. The Dilusions spray in the laid back lilac and I just sprayed on some dots added on some water and then I used my heat gun just to dry it over and it gave it this kind of mixed media shabby look. Then I die cut out the dragonflies and I coloured them in in two different colours. I stamped on the little butterflies and that was just putting on this Spectrum Wire pen onto the stamp and quickly um, stamping with it just to keep all the colours the same. Um, I added on this, I'll show you. It's a bit tangled. This trim, I can't remember who sent me this, I'm so sorry. Um, but this trim, I added on a piece of that onto the the bodies of the dragonfly, if you can see that. And I just glued it on with the big bead, it was just to give it some more mixed media effect. Stamped out the love definition, just went round it with the pen and stuck it all on. And I think it turned out really cool. So yeah, I love this month's inspiration. I thought it was really fab. So definitely go into the description box and have a wee look. Um, and this is what I took from it. So thanks everyone. Like I said, please check everybody out. Go over to their channels, have a look. See what everybody's came up with this month. It's a fab collab. Again, thank you to Alicia. Give me a thumbs up guys and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.